Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today we'll do a comparison of these three beasts. Firstly, we've got the Xiaomi Mi 11 with Snapdragon 888 SoC. Just to show you some of the device info here. And I've actually taken the feedback from you all. This time, I'll enable the game turbo mode for this test. Hopefully, it will give better performance. On the right, we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max with A14 SoC which we are all familiar with. No gaming mode on this phone, so I'll just test it in normal mode. And then on the left, we have the Huawei Mate 40 Pro with the Kirin 9000 SoC. I've also heard your voice. This time, I will enable the performance mode on this device to unleash its full potential. The game we are going to test today is Genshin Impact. And as I've shown here, Set all the graphics settings to highest possible and enable 60 FPS. Furthermore, this test will be a little bit different from all of my previous Genshin Impact performance tests. Instead of casually play the game randomly for 10 minutes, this time I'm going to leave my character standing still at this same spot, looking at the exact same direction, and I'll leave the game running like this for 20 minutes. Personally, I feel if I do this, the test will be more fair and it's more controlled because I can make sure that all the devices are under the exact same load. Of course, I welcome any kind of feedback. So do you like this kind of test or do you prefer me to actually play the game around for 10 minutes? Please let me know down in the comments. Just like my previous tests, I'll also, also show you the real-time FPS and also I'll add the real-time power graph in this video for your reference. We see here that when we just started the game, all three devices are able to maintain a 60 FPS, but what is interesting is the power consumption difference. We see that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the most efficient device. It only consumes about five to six watt of power. The Mate 40 Pro with Kirin 9000 is doing a little bit worse here with a 7 watt of power at 60 fps. Then the Xiaomi Mi 11 is a mixed bag. I'm not really sure what is happening here. Just now when we first started the game, it used more than 9 watt of power, which is crazy. But after about 1 or 2 minutes, we see power figure more around 6 to 7 watt, which is much more acceptable. And since the character is not doing much, I'll actually fast forward this video and let's see which device will start to throttle first. And I think most of you should have guessed, it's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We are about 5 minutes into the game, and although the A14 chip is the most efficient, the iPhone 12 Pro Max actually start to throttle first. And I think that's all because of the bad thermal design of the body. If you notice, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is doing something weird here again, and the power consumption for no reason just uh, skyrocketed to 8 to 9 watt again, while the performance uh, I don't know, even became a little bit worse. Uh, it's not even stable at 60 anymore. I don't know what's happening here. I think it's definitely something wrong with the uh, scheduler or the kernel or whatever. All right, not long after the iPhone 12 Pro Max started to throttle, the Mate 40 Pro cannot take the heat anymore and it starts to throttle as well. And its throttling behavior is actually very interesting. It will actually alternate between a low performance mode and a high performance mode. And you will see this behavior in the subsequent uh, footage. Also notice that the iPhone 12 Pro Max will just keep uh, lowering its performance more and more. It has a very conserv conservative power policy. You see that now it's only consuming about 3 to 4 watt of power, which is around only half of that uh, of Xiaomi Mi 11 and Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Now 
fast forward to about 12 minutes, we see that the Xiaomi Mi 11 finally starts to throttle very hard, and the FPS drops to only 30 plus. And at this point, the device is actually very, very hot. If you can see, the battery temperature is already 49 degrees. On the other hand, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is still alternating between this uh, high power mode and the low power mode. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is just doing its thing, uh, gradually reducing the performance. Now let's fast forward to the end of the whole test and check the overall results. Now let's look at the final FPS result. Surprisingly, the Xiaomi Mi 11 actually has the highest average FPS at 55. But we do see some very significant frame drops towards the later half of the test. And I think this is definitely more uh, impactful for the gaming experience. The Mate 40 Pro, as we already seen, takes a very different approach. It will alternate very quickly between a high performance and a low performance mode. Overall, the average FPS is slightly lower than the Xiaomi Mi 11 at 53. And on the other hand, the iPhone 12 Pro Max takes a completely different approach from the two Android devices. It is very conservative and is very gradual in reducing the performance. So we see a much more smoother FPS curve. And we see that this, there is basically no sudden jump of FPS. But it also has the overall uh, worst average FPS of these three devices. Which of these thermal strategies do you think is the better one? Let me know down in the comments. Now if we move on to the power consumption, we see that that's where the Xiaomi Mi 11 is having a serious problem. It used on average 6.9 watt of power, which is just far too high for any smartphone body. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, on the other hand, is to another extreme. It merely uses 3.8 watt of power on average. And I really don't think that it's a good idea to be so conservative in terms of power consumption and heat management. And that is also why the A14, while being a very advanced and efficient chip, cannot perform good in demanding games. Well, I think the Mate 40 Pro, uh, in terms of the average power consumption, is more reasonable at uh, 5.9 watt. From my experience, I think for our normal smartphone chassis, sustained power of around 5 watt, whether it's 4 point something or 5 point something, is more reasonable. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this kind of real world tests, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.